again, just like we mentioned, um, uh, digital protection is not protection in the sense that it will prevent the data breach, it will prevent your data from being used. Digital protection services usually uh, revolve around uh, letting you know that there is some sort of information about you online uh, or that there is information, personal information about you that's being used online, either by you or somebody else. So it's not more, so it's not a question of using digital protection services to prevent misuse, but limiting misuse or taking action to um, to understand how you can change, you know, perishable data, the information that we mentioned, like passwords, username, or uh, take action in order to limit the use of non-perishable information, like you know, social security numbers, uh, driver's license information, and, and and stuff like that. Well, the effort is a uh, uh, is a combination of technology and best practices. Uh, technology helps us uh, automate our defenses and uh, 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 let us uh, do our thing while uh, it protects uh, our digital identity, but we shouldn't solely rely on technology. I would say that for, uh, uh, for starters, we need to become aware of what's happening around us and how important and precious uh, our data that we um, don't give too much uh, importance about is uh, uh, to commercial uh, 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 companies or to cyber criminals. So uh, well, we need to start uh, watching our backs and uh, make sure that we have the good practices uh, very deeply rooted into what we're doing uh, uh, on the internet. So uh, um, when, uh, uh, when we carry with our lives, we need to make sure that we're sticking to these good practices that we compartmentalize um, uh, our identities and that we have um, uh, at, at least a backup plan of what to do when, uh, when bad things happen.